All right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between the Korean Superboy, Duo Choi, and Luke Rockhold. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them, from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend. He's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Choi is 29. Rockhold is 35. He is five inches taller. He will have a seven-inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 6 losses. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Santa Cruz, California, Luke Rock And now, producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, 4 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to the radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Oh. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage, it's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going tonight. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. 
missed with that right hand. And he landed the right hand there. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Just out of range with the big right hand. What a punch. Oh, big knee. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Wow. Wow. Actually got the takedown. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. And it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know when, when to hold him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. Just over two minutes, round one. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Now looking to do something with that left arm. He's isolating the Kimura attack. Notice he'll pick up his left leg, step over the head to get his opponent on his hip. Once he gets him on his side, he'll start to apply pressure to try to get the finish. Submission defense there. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in a fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control in the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just swerve away. Punch short punches. Try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction. You throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. Choice pass attempt denied. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Rockhold. Right up the elbow, body kick land. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Oh, stiff jab in the face there. Now doubles up on it. Nice stupid punch. Round two is next. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready? You ready?
establish that jab once again. Oh, he blocks the shot. Shooting for the takedown here. Straight right hand, no good. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, tags him with the jab on the counter. Nice hook lands. Rockhold's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Rockhold gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, that's a good right hand. Just misses with the punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Joy gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. This is with that punch. Real quick leg kick. Slips the shot. And both guys really throwing with authority. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. <laughs> Blocks the shot. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. He engages in the single collar tie. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice straight punch. Takedown defense holds up. Now there's danger in that too because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. Then you're in a lot of trouble. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual fan. Absolutely, and it's going to be the underhook for all the things that happen in this position. The person winning it, controlling the underhook battle, is the one out ahead. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Throws the right hand there. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying. Because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one.
All right, next round is underway, and somewhat surprisingly, he got out of that previous round without absorbing anything in terms of significant damage, despite the fact that his opponent was pretty offensive. His opponent was very active, but it seems as though he can see almost everything coming in this direction. He's so well-versed, he's so skilled in his defensive fighting that nothing is breaking his defenses. it most certainly did. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Nice punch there by Rockhold. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. It's such a fast leg kick. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, Rockhold's lower jaw does not look good. That is how you scramble, folks. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Oh! A little single collar tie there. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Pretty good right hand. Three minutes to go in round three. Rockhold's kick is blocked. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And there comes the separation now. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, single follow tie here. Big elbow there, Lance. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. He'll engage in a single mass tie in transition. Nice scramble. Joy gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Right hand upstairs. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops his big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Just missed with the left there. Great punch. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, right up the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight ones are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Single collar tie now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Put your hands up higher. Come on. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. He touches Rocco with a right hand there.
Todd, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect. here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom player. Joy gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Well, as my favorite rack group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Yeah. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Rockhold gets hit by that leg kick. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard. Every time you see him drive his shin into his opponent. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Just over three minutes to go. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. Oh. Didn't like that left hand. Oh. Collar tie now. Big kick land. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Rock holds, trying for a Kimura here. It's in there deep. There you go. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Submission victory. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 34 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar, Luke Rojo! Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win, but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions over and over again. Eventually, he found one tonight and got the desired result.